Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to clear the cache on your computer running Mac OS X. I'm running Yosemite, but this should work for any Mac OS X operating system. There are a few different caches on your computer, however, and I'm going to show you how to clear some of the most common ones. If you're just having an internet problem and somebody told you that, hey, you need to clear your cache, what that means is that you need to clear the cache in your internet browser. And if you're using a Mac computer, you're most likely using the internet browser called Safari. So to clear our Safari cache, I'm going to go into Safari. As you can see, here I am in Safari. I'm on Google.com. To clear my cache in Safari, I'm going to go to the top left of my screen, click on the Safari menu, click on Clear History and Website Data, then I can specify for what time period I'd like to clear that history. If you want to clear all of it, you can go ahead and choose All History. Click on Clear History, and now all of your history in Safari, including your cache and cookies, have been cleared. Now let's talk about the little more advanced topic of actually clearing the cache in your operating system. This should be done rarely and it's mainly used when you have weird bugs on your computer or maybe you need to free up a little bit of space. Uh, you can also back up this information because anytime you clear your cache you might actually delete some stuff that uh, you don't necessarily need but you might enjoy uh, like a, a desktop background image. It shouldn't be in there but there are scenarios that you might be missing something afterwards. So uh, I'll show you when you can create a backup when we get to that point. But to clear our operating systems cache what we're going to do is we're going to click back on the desktop so that we're in Finder. So I can double click on Macintosh hard drive on my desktop, but if you don't have that on your desktop, you can access a new Finder window by going up to File, New Finder Window, then scroll down to the Devices section here in Finder, choose your computer, then you'll see Macintosh hard drive, double click on that, and we're going to access the library. Inside the library, we're going to access this file called Caches. We're going to double click on that file. I'm going to make this list view just so you can see a little bit better. And we have a few caches in here that we can clear. So I could just select all of these caches. I can uh, do Command A to select all. And then I can right click and I can actually move these to the trash. I'll have to enter my admin password. And I've now cleared this particular cache. But there's another one here on the computer that often has more information. So let's take a look at how we can clear that cache as well. I'm going to go back to my computer in the devices section. I'm going to go back into my hard drive, which is Macintosh HD. This time I'm going to go into the system folder. Then I'm going to double click on library, and I'm going to find the folder called caches in here. Now I can make this list view so I can see the size of the files a little bit more. I can now select all of these files and I can move them to the trash. Now, if you had wanted to back up your data, instead of moving them to the trash, you could create a new folder on your desktop. You can just call it backup. And you could move all of these files into the backup folder. Hit continue, enter your password. Once this finishes copying, and you can see there's 6.97 gigabytes of data here, so we're going to clear up quite a bit of space. Once this finishes copying, I'm going to delete them from the caches folder. I can then restart my computer, I can mess around, make sure everything looks okay, and if everything looks okay, then I can delete my backup folder. So you see now I can go ahead and delete them all out of the caches folder. I'm going to empty my trash here on my computer. I'll probably have to restart before some of these items uh, will be able to be deleted. As you can see, it's going to go through my whole trash. And we've now cleared the caches in Safari and here on our Mac computer. Again, delete your backup once you are satisfied that nothing is broken and you're good to go. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more technology tips and tutorials. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.